Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another Super Tease video. And patch 9.2 is live, and this is something that you need to do before you start PvPing because right now is the best time to exploit it. This is something that all of the highest rated players are currently abusing. So you need to get your hands on this item as soon as possible. Uh, so in patch 9.2, there's a lot of new set bonuses. There's a lot of new equipment, a lot of new trinkets, uh, a lot of just new balance changes as well coming into the game. And it's looking like a completely different ball game for the final patch of Shadowlands. If you want to stay up to date with all of those patch changes and news updates in real time, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do bring those changes here in real time to keep you in the know and the now and ahead of the competition. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when you log into Shadowlands is unlock Zareth Mortis. This is the new zone, and this is the prerequisite step to this next step, which is going to be a PvP world quest that you must do. These trinkets are absolutely insane. I covered them in a video about three months ago, um, but now seeing them in practice, there's a, there's another reason that you really want to exploit it now uh, before they start to become weaker over time. You're going to go to this NPC, Zorsorg, Master of Conflict, after you've unlocked Zareth Mortis. Otherwise, this quest, a new deal will not appear. This is near the PvP vendors on the map. Uh, you can see it here in Oribos. And this is a very important quest to pick up. You're going to see that it tells you to go to Zareth Mortis and loot 150 protoplasmic thread. This is basically just do anything in Zareth Mortis. It's going to give you this. It might take you a bit of time. I think it took me probably about 20 minutes uh, to get 150 of this and then come back. You turn it in and you will have a choice of trinkets. The most important trinket to take advantage of currently right now is the Cosmic Gladiator's Resonator. This is kind of like a grenade delayed time trinket where you're going to throw a bomb on the ground, almost like Tracer's Grenade from Overwatch. Uh, it doesn't stick to targets, unfortunately. That's something else that you're going to have to do to take into account. More importantly is to CC the target when you're doing it. But this trinket can crit upwards of 60,000. The main reason for that is that if you can push some raiding, and upgrade this trinket, its damage output is much higher than the overall stamina pool for players currently in their gear. So this is the best time to try and take advantage of this, to cheese down some targets, stacking this trinket up with your team, and just kind of nading your way uh, up the ladder uh, and allowing yourself to get a lot of those kind of cool early game rewards like the new PvP enchant, uh, the tabard, and the transmogs. This is a tactic that almost every team is utilizing. It is most powerful at the moment with Rogue Mage. For obvious reasons, they can stun a target for a very long time and connect the grenade very easily but also combinations that include a Kyrian arms warrior with the spear of bastion this is something that i've been using uh, in my composition on my stream on twitch.tv slash if you would like to see that journey and initially this trinket is very important to get i am hoping that once you've completed this quest at some point you'll be able to buy the other trinkets because the other trinkets do have some good options and one of them could completely revolutionize the game the way that it is played whether or not you may like it the way that it will be played after that or not is really kind of up for debate but uh, that trinket is the Cosmic Gladiator's Echoing Resolve. This trinket seems really complicated when you read it. It's basically going to increase crowd control on yourself by 20%. But once you are hit by a crowd control, you will be immune to the next one. Then the next crowd control after that will be increased by 20%, but you'll be immune to the next one. And then the next one will be increased, but you'll be immune to the next one. So you can get this chain of kind of CC immunities. And it's it's really good into classes like Shadow Priest or Balance Druid. You can immune a root beam. Um, if, the, if the root hits you and makes you immune to the beam, for example, or Shadow Priest stuns you, and then you're immune to their silence. Uh, you can really throw a wrench in a lot of the CC changes that exist in the game right now. It's still in the experimental phase of this trinket. It's likely that it's the most powerful if you're a human, so that you'll still have the option to escape out of stuns in those oh no moments. Um, but if you're playing something like a priest that has access to crowd control avoidance like Shadow Word Death, so you can be Shadow Word Deathing the first polymorph and then immune to the second one, you've really just kind of shut down an entire crowd control chain on yourself. So in my books here, this would be kind of the second trinket that you should try to look to pick up because I think it is going to collect more and more steam over time. Initially, it just looks like a what the, why would anybody take that kind of trinket? 
Um, but uh, I'll be, I've been playing with somebody that picked it up on my team, and every once in a while, it feels like the most powerful thing ever. Every once in a while, you probably wish you didn't equip it, uh, so it is kind of a situationally really good trinket to use. Definitely good against low cooldown or low duration interrupts because interrupts will trigger this effect. So if you get wind sheared, it'll be three seconds. What is a 20% increase on a wind shear? Like nothing. And then you'll be immune to the storm bolt. Or if you get pummeled for four seconds, you'll be immune to the fear. So you can utilize tanking interrupts to then be immune to another CC, um, which is going to be a really good tactic. Another option that I was considering for myself, um, I've been playing a little bit of Convoke actually again in this patch with my Balance Druid. I think this trinket particularly with, with that ability um, could have some potential. I wish that I could just get all of these trinkets from the quest, honestly, and not have to worry about spending any conquest or something to pick them up. But this is the Cosmic Gladiator's Fastigious Resolve. When you activate this, you will be immune to the next two effects, interrupts or CCs. So you can just pop this, Convoke, someone tries to kick you and stun you. You're immune to both of those options. You could throw a Holy Ward on it. You could throw up an Aura Mastery. You could throw up a lot of stuff um, with this to guarantee that you get it. The main reason I didn't is because it's a three-minute cooldown. Um, and basically, if you go the Cosmic Gladiator's Resonator plus Convoke, you have two threats. You've got this Grenade threat, and you've got the Convoke threat. So it's like, do you want to put all your eggs in one basket? Not a really good strategy, uh, whereas the Resonator is going to spread those out. It's going to give you a threat on stuns that you would otherwise not have cooldowns, which is going to give you more kill opportunities and kill windows. Definitely my number one recommended trinket at the moment, like I've already covered in this video. Uh, so you're going to want to get to Xerath Mortis, unlock it, come to the PvP vendors, pick up this quest, go do random things in Xerath Mortis to get 150 of the things that it wants, come back, get this Resonator, upgrade it ASAP. Um, any amount of upgrades is a massive amount of damage to it overall. Um, so you're going to want to upgrade it to whatever rank that you can get to right away uh, and try and get teams stacking this trinket together, utilizing it on stun locks to try and blast down a target because uh, it's going to be the best way to climb right now. Um, so if you if you are not abusing it, you, you might want to get on the train now. Uh, and like they said, with this next trinket, the Cosmic Glider's Echoing Resolve, this actually could have potential, um, but it can backfire on you. So I wouldn't recommend it necessarily as the first trinket unless you're playing human. Um, but in the long term, you will want to keep your eyes on this because it, it could pop up in the future. Uh, aside from that, thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Um, are you going to be picking up this trinket? Are you going to even bother trying to do this quest? Or are you going to try and battle against the meta? Because uh, it is looking like a resonator meta at the moment. Um, I do wonder if we'll see any changes coming through. Uh, a lot of the other trinkets uh, we, we really don't see just yet. The Cosmic Gladiator's Eternal Aegis lines up pretty well as a counter to the resonator but i'm pretty sure you can't use it when you're stunned which is the only time the resonator is going down so not being able to defend yourself from it uh is going to be tough if they made this usable while stunned then it would just be like the most broken defensive thing in the game because it'd just be a 30k shield you can use while it's stunned so i'm not sure if i really want to see that um and then the gladiator's devouring malediction use you absorb absorption effects from around you and then unleash it in a cone uh, not seeing a ton of absorption effects to, to utilize it against. It'd be like Warlocks, Mistweavers, and Priests, more specifically Discipline Priests potentially, uh, that you could utilize this trinket. But again, that's a very niche situation, whereas the Resonator um, can almost always be really powerful, especially right now. But other than that, thank you very much for watching the video. I will catch you in the next one.